These highlights are brought to you by ESCA, official water supplier of KW United FC. The PDL returned to Waterloo Friday night, KW United FC playing their first home game since June 12th, and the Black and Blue had no easy homecoming as the division-leading Michigan Bucks were in town. But United looked up to the task early. Adam Polakevich takes the feed from Tomislav Zadro, then fires it to Will Grokot in front, but it gets deflected before crossing the line and sails just wide. Then, off the ensuing corner, Grokot with a nice ball, and it ends up on the foot of Zadro, but Stuart Givens gets a head on it to keep it out. Zadro coming close to opening the scoring, but a great defensive play keeps it scoreless. More from United. Before the end of the half, Zadro to Polakevich again, and this time he finds Jay Chapman for the header, but his shot is a bit too high. United all over the Bucks in the first, but it remained nil-nil at the break to the second and KW with some miscommunication off the throw in Austin Stone elects to leave it and it's Gerald Ben making him pay. That's his sixth of the season and despite a dominating effort by United, Michigan takes a 1-0 lead. But less than two minutes later, Jarek Whiteman with a strong effort on the ball, then he finds Grocott outside the 18 and he makes no mistake, firing it to the far corner. Grocott with his first wear in the black and blue, and after no goals through 60 minutes, it's all tied up at one. But United wasn't done there. Off the corner, it's Evan James with the header, but Nathan Steinwasher manages to knock it down. So back the other way we go. Will Walker finds Ben, and this time he lays a nice little touch pass to Zach Steinberger, who chips it past Nathan Ingham, and the Bucks regain their lead in the 78th minute. It's 2-1. to one. Late into injury time now. United looking for the equalizer with another corner. And it deflects off Ingham's back and goes right to Liam Collins. And he somehow finds a hole and beats Steinwasher. Collins with a clutch goal in the dying seconds of the match. United comes from behind twice to tie it up. As they come away with a point against the division leading Bucks. 2-2 the final. It's just one of them lucky strikes. I just... Right place at the right time and just connected well and thankfully it went in. Over the course of the game we had a lot more chances than the Bucks had. Unfortunately we gave away two silly goals, so we're kind of playing catch up. So, and I think at the end we got the tie but we probably deserved more. I thought we were fantastic all through. We showed courage to come back twice and uh, to be honest I think we deserved to win. It was tough on the draw but we'll move on. If we win all the rest of the games you never know. I thought they played excellent. We had some great uh, opportunities in the first half. We should have come in at least with two or three goals. Uh, they had a couple as well, but we should have come in with a lead in, in the first half. And then the second half, again, um, uh, against a run of play, they get the goal. And um, the boys show great character and, and come back. The boys knew going into this that we had to get something out of it. Three points would have been fantastic. Uh, but when you're 2-1 down with seconds to go, uh, you take a point and... Uh, Fantastic. We certainly deserve something out of this game. For KW United Football Club, I'm Chad Leach.